today, everyone, we're going to interact with a Zoomer. Have you heard about these guys? They've got random as hell humor. Um, you laugh, you lose. <laughs> I always laugh when I'm hanging out with Zoomers. How's it going, brother? Who's that? This is uh, Jeremy. It's like incel Wolverine. He's like the CEO of Daily Wire. Oh, bummer. Apparently, I am playing Minecraft. <laughs> now, I don't normally play video games. What's happening, dude? <laughs> yeah, he, he did Jeremy's razors because they got dropped by Harry's razors. That's very um, funny. Yeah, this commercial is like extremely fucking annoying, but we're going to watch it anyway. Views? Ironic views? It's very, an ad. Very good like ratio. I know, but it only has 180,000 likes for 21 million views, mm. which is a really low percentage um, because it's an ad. So it was like people were seeing it like non-consensually. Oh, wait, does that contribute to its view count? Yeah. I didn't know that. The fuck? Do you remember when there were two genders and only one and a half of them had to shave their mustache? God, he's, he's dressed like like a groomer Patrick Bateman. Like a Patrick Bateman that uh, tries to sell ketamine. Patrick Bateman that sells MDMA only to teenagers. <laughs> oh yeah, his name is Jeremy Boring, by the way. Awesome. Yeah, like he doesn't, you can change it. You can have a stage name. You can, you can lie. CEO and God King of the Daily He's dressed like Jeffree Star. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the Dragon Ball Z fusion between the Jeffreys, Star and Epstein. They do the little dance. Wait, look how That's little he is. <laughs> yeah, he's a small man. <laughs> it's, he's a little man. It's my favorite kind of like like not not putting value on height, but more so yeah. like presentation. Like they yeah. always shoot themselves in broad wide angle shots from below, and the moment they slip up, the moment the kayfabe drops, and you see that they are uh, an action figure. Well, and it's like there's obviously no shame to inherently being. A, a shorter person. I'm not the tallest guy in the room, but also like, if you were a bad person, it's like there is like sh like Napoleon complex is like kind of a thing. It's it's and yeah. There's a big race. I'm going to point it out. Some peon who works for me went and said that boys are boys and girls are girls, and that was just too much for Harry's. They condemned our views, views held by millions of Americans and virtually every human who's walked the planet until about 15 minutes ago as inexcusable. And they dropped their ads from our network because of what they called values misalignment. This is a terrible fit. You're damn right our values are misaligned. And it's not just Harry's either. Gillette razors used to be the best a man could get. Then they decided that men are too toxic. I'm What's funny is that like, this whole thing is just a self-report that you think that corporations are genuine oh, when they advertise things. Anything like you have resembling to be a, a shit, as opposed to you just not being a valuable investment on their part. You are literally a baby if you think that, like, Gillette is genuinely, like, men are toxic and that needs to stop. It's like, dude, I'm sure the CEO of Gillette is, like, a monster. Which is also, like, that's the whole thesis of, of libertarian bullshit is, like, yeah. well, we don't need... The, Corporations don't need to play by ethical rules because they are playing by the rules writ large. This is what the government right. says is viable. That's what they're going to do. They're winning. You should be working harder. And then as soon as they make a financially motivated choice, which is investing in this weird petri dish of dorks is not paying off correctly because <laughs> none of their audience shaves, showers, or bait, like does anything of any kind yep. of self-care. The only deodorant viewers of The Daily Wire have ever bought is Old Spice because of the funny video. But they've never opened it. It just lives yeah, on their shelf along it. with the one bottle of Captain Morgan's they ever had. I'm like, look, epic. <laughs> epic drinker. Yeah. And then they threw it away once Old Spice became woke. <laughs> yeah, once they realized the man was black. Hey, hey, hi, and hello, gamers. How the hell are you? So I just got back from a certain event that a lot of creators were also at recently. Here's a photo of me and Eddie being grounded and uh, 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 perfect. <laughs> just a couple of normal guys, just a couple of regular guys. And with a lot of trips like that, I often find myself getting frustrated because the Bluetooth headphones I have tried in the past, they just die. They just fall asleep or they disconnect. Enter our hero and sponsor for the day, Raycon. Raycon was co-created by Ray J with the mission of creating innovative, high quality, long battery life, thank you so much, Bluetooth headphones that don't compromise on quality while also not breaking the bank. Now, I myself use the everyday earbuds. They're super duper comfortable. The case is so, so little, dude. 
how little this, this little guy, itty bitty. Also, it has a number of sound profiles, which are especially good, as I say, for travel. Pure sound is the most clear and direct version with the perfect dynamic range for listening to podcasts or audiobooks and stuff like that. Then there's balanced sound, which just gives you a uniform, super reliable, listen to anything and know that it's gonna be consistent and, and represents the sound just right. But if you wanna go real sicko mode on music, you can also jump over to bass sound which is exactly what it sounds like. It's as punchy as it comes. Graycon's on a mission to make sure that you don't have to pay completely ridiculous prices, arm, leg, both legs, both arms, whole head, to buy reasonable, banger, high quality earbuds that you can reliably use for up to 32 hours. I'm very thankful to have these as well for going to the gym. I often have found myself, especially on the exercise bike, the other brands just flying out of my ears. You know what I mean? It's so frustrating. They land on the ground. It's the gym. It's a nasty ground. These with those comfortable little buds. Not only do they stay in your ears, they're also sweat and water resistant. So make sure to go and click the link in the description or head directly to buyraycon.com slash jadika. That's Jadika for you. That's J Dr. Jadika, not Dr. Janika. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this very episode, which is going to return right now. Daughter to shave her beard. If that makes sense to you, keep buying Gillette. But if you've had enough of the woke bullshit and you're- t I love that he has like a key around him on, at all times. What's he that does about? The, he has, it's for his chastity belt, I think. <laughs> it's for, it's for his sub cage. It's a skeleton key for everybody's daughter's chastity belt. Oh no. Every employee's you're daughter. You're tired of paying companies like Harry's and Gillette to hate you? What the fuck? That was kind of sick. That is downright bacon. Dude, that's fucking epic wall. The narwhal beacons at midnight Reddit moment. That's Bro. here's Reddit gold, kind stranger. Um, that gets an update from me, my guy. And buy my new razor instead. Oh yeah. Behold, and if you're a woman and you try to buy this and shave your face with it, I'll shoot you with a gun. Guess what? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you on fire. I'll burn you alive. Will be the yeah. thing that I do. Jeremy's razors. Yes, they're real. Yes, they're fabulous. But Jeremy, you say, oh, so you're lame. a spelt silver fox with a salt and pepper beard that's the envy of lesser men. Salt and just... pepper, more like fucking salt and fucking KFC gravy. Like, <laughs> these are the colors that you have. He looks like a version of Colonel Sanders that isn't brave enough to be openly racist. That like <laughs> wouldn't... racist. He, lo he looks like he isn't comfortable dressing like a plantation owner but he would given the right era yeah he he would if it was politically correct and it's great because he's he's never really front facing and no one knows who the fuck he is so he like comes out in this like egotistical fucking ad where he's like i'm surrounded by women with blazers and no shirts underneath and their boobies out whoa and look at these security guys to keep the daily wire safe from antifa you're damn right i am and I want to be clear that shaving with a Jeremy's razor won't actually make you look more like yes, me. Yes, you're giving me fierce, you're giving me power. Could make you look more like this guy, though. And that, Didn't want to be too gay for a second. I don't want to like look this dude. sus. Most homoerotic moment you'll ever get from a Jeremy's razor commercial. What kind of man shaves with a Jeremy's razor? I don't know. How about cowboys? Firefighters. Those guys that shot Osama bin Laden. This is like, and not in the campy way it's supposed to be ironic. This is like parody of the things. I don't know what your joke is, guys, because that is what yeah. your demographic likes. They do think Seal right. Team 6 is epic and that it, they do love how in Sicario, all of the bad guys wear the same cargo shorts and Oakleys that they have access to. Yeah. yeah. Like, actually, I could be an operator if it weren't for this damn ankle. I mean, no, none of those guys have ever even heard of a Jeremy's Razor, but... But imagine how much more manly they'd be if they had. Like, if this is what masculinity is, count me out. Yeah, no thought. This, this is toxic. <laughs> this is like the masculine equivalent of shitting yourself and not being too shy to let anybody know. Like, thank you for that 10 seconds of, like, pre-drugs Beatles music. <laughs> this is the classic uh conservative fash andy issue with anything creative they try and put out is their delivery is yeah. bad. like even execution yeah, they... is bad that's what's like 
That's like the Absolutely. big remarkable thing about the God's Not Dead movies, right? Is that they mm -hmm. came out okay. Like the lighting is okay. Yeah. That's yeah, the camera is on. <laughs> they took they took the lens cap off. Yeah, they didn't but use like, the onboard microphone. <laughs> well, and it's funny because like it has to be the execution has to be bad because like the historical context of the things they claim to like aesthetically doesn't line up with their worldview. Like yeah. You could say, like, I love the Beatles because that's when music was good. But it's like they did so many drugs, like an <laughs> ungodly amount of drugs In when, between like, to make protests, their music good. Yeah. Protests against uh, movements and beliefs that you still are touting. Right now, you're probably wondering if this whole thing is a joke. Sure it is. That well, it is very it funny. Dude, Elizabeth Warren dressed as a Native American cigar statue. Yes. When did this come out? March. Oh, yeah, got him. I thought it was like six years ago. Nice, dude. Yeah. She, I Ooh. think, is still alive. <laughs> I don't know if she's still alive. What is that, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, I think it'd be like Obama with the Kenyan prince garb on or something. It'd be like, right? Yeah, where's nice. his birth certificate? Or like a uh, Monica Lewinsky <laughs> reference. Yeah. Just as timely. It's weird that they haven't had even just like a token person of color, right? Just for defensibility reasons. Just to insulate themselves. I don't know. It's like they don't remember. No, it's like, you know, America's a meritocracy and they hire people based on skill and they That's just right. happen to be everyone best for the job here just happen to be white. That shirtless guy with that I definitely don't want to have full on rough trade gay sex with. Uh, yeah. He just happened to actually also be a white guy like me, buff also. Our country's in trouble. Conservatives are being cancelled by Hollywood, the media, universities, and now Harry's razors. Oh, dude! Ball Eagle, yes! Razors. Stop giving your money to woke corporations who don't think you deserve their product. But Gillette. Give it to me instead. <laughs> Head over to i.com oh, for your founders. Wow. These people can't do anything that isn't in opposition. I mean, re the definition of reactionary, it's, right? Exactly. They have yeah. no culture. They have no position. They have no ideology. It's just yep. contrarianism. Exactly. Yeah, anyway, that was Jeremy dirty, Boring. Made out of, like, styrofoam. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with me. All right, I'll catch you later. All right, man. Yeah, for sure. You too. I love you all unconditionally. Kill for you. Have killed for you. Just, I'm gonna do it again. Watch me go. Time to die.